Well, first pizza night of the 2018 season here at La Tavola Marque. And of course, 20 minutes before pizza night started, the thunderstorms rolled in and dumped a bunch of rain and then rolled out again. So the guests are inside, but it's nice enough now to do the pizzas outside. So come on, I'm gonna show you how to stretch a pizza. Every Thursday night here during this, the nice months, we do a pizza night. And what that means is kind of all you can eat pizza buffet. We do, uh, fire up the outdoor wood oven, forno a leña and uh, stretch the pizzas outside and a bunch of wine and salad and tiramisu at the end and it's usually a pretty good time. Well, apart from that, let me show you. There are many, many ways, come on, over okay, here, sorry, over here, distracted. over here. There are many ways to stretch a dough ball of pizza, uh, for pizza. I'm gonna show you one of those. So hold your comments and emails about there's another way to do it, I know. Here's how I do it. First thing, close? yeah, come on in. First thing I do is I make the crust with my index finger and my thumb. And I go around the ball, pinching, pinching, pinching about a centimeter to the in, uh, uh, inside of the dough. Just like that. Boom. So we have a kind of a sombrero a, a hat. Then next, with the tips of my fingers, I push straight down to extend the circle. Now if you notice, each time I press, I move it. I, I turn this, I turn the uh, piece of dough because I want to open the circle. I don't want to make a rectangle. So anything that I do, I usually work in thirds. Okay. Once I have a disc like so, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to extend and flatten the disc. And I do that with what I call my Mr. Miyagi wax on wax off technique, which is not, um, which is not, what, which is. <laughs> not Italian. No, Italian. not Italian, but here's what I do. I have one hand that's caught, that holds friction and the other hand that slightly stretches. It's a little bit of a balanced, delicate balance. Come on in and I'll show you. So what I do is I put my right hand is right on the, the uh, edge of the dough by the crust and my left hand just holds tension. And I kind of pull, kind of wax on, wax off. And I do this gently according to how soft or tough the dough is. So it's a little bit cooler, so the dough is a little tougher, so I can give it a little bit of a pull. And all I'm doing is opening up the circle. So now I have a bigger circle. Now I'm going to pick up the dough and stretch it just the perimeter, because I'm gonna let gravity stretch the outside, the center, excuse me. I'm going to stretch the perimeter, I'm going to pull, and pu put my left hand where my right hand is, watch. Two fingers. The Dough is on these two fingers, my index and my middle finger. Pull, left where my right goes. Pull, left where my right goes. This is a little bit of t touch. You have to feel the dough and know how far you can stretch and how much you can pull. And there we go. That is a circle. One more time at full time speed. You ready? All right, here we go. Make the crust. If anyone's got questions, this is the time to type them in while he's doing this. Then we smush to make a disc. Then we Miyagi to open our disc. People want to see it tossed in the air. Oh, I'm, not, <laughs> I, I'm not tossing it in the air. All right, fine. Okay, then once we have a disc, we come on over and we stretch just on our two fingers around and around and if you want you can stretch there it you go. There. that doesn't really do anything well there we go all right keep it going so now what's next okay next is sauce and the whole trick to this is less is more right if I overload them why I, is less more because if these cook so quickly that I've put too much stuff on them if I overload them with sauce and cheese and all that stuff, it's, they are going to uh, not get crispy at best. At worst, they are going to stick to the bottom of the oven because of their weight. And how hot do you think the temperature of the oven is? Um, I would say it's about um, five, six, 500 degrees centigrade, seven something Fahrenheit. Here's how I know when the pizza oven is at temperature. If I stick my hand in and I can hold my hand for a one second count before it's too hot, that's the correct temperature. If I can't hold it for a second, it's it's too hot. If I can't hold it for more than a second, it's too cold. <laughs> All right, that's it. We got to go and make these I know, the guests are hungry, so we've got our toppings here. Jason's finishing up and 
tell, give, say, why don't you just uh, say Buona Notte. <laughs> Buona Notte. <laughs> Ciao tutti. You can find us at La Tavola Marche, our farm inn and cooking school here in lovely La Marche. All right, ciao, ciao. I got to go check on the guests. I'll show you. They're up in here. A room full of hungry guests. We've got to get back to work. All right. Ciao.